If you're interested in learning how to design a book cover in Photoshop, then no worries, you've come to the right place because I'm walking you through my six steps that I do every single time I design one of my book covers. Not only am I walking you through these six steps, but I'm walking you through these six steps as I design this book cover right here. Hello everyone, my name is Mandy Lynn. I'm an author, book cover designer, and the creator of the Book Launch Planner series, and I make weekly videos on the business of being an author. So if that sounds good to you, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so you never miss a new upload. So I just wanna make a quick note that this video is meant to be a quick overview of the design process. If you want in-depth tutorials, I actually have three different courses that go into the cover design process. We have course number one, Photoshop for Authors. This course is designed for those who have never used Photoshop before. And it walks you through a lot of the basic tools that you will be using in Photoshop if you design a book cover or if you choose to make your own marketing materials. Course number two is typography and book cover design. This goes over all the different rules of typography and how to design typography for a book cover, including book cover wraps and hardcover jackets. This course is great if you're someone who purchased an illustration or hired an illustrator to design your book cover and you just need to create the typography or the book cover wrap. Course number three is designing book covers in Photoshop. This course is is meant to be the bread and butter of designing book covers from scratch using stock photos. It shows you how to transform stock photos into stunning book covers using everything that we learned in the previous courses, or you can also just take the third course if you have previous Photoshop experience. And you can purchase all three courses as a book cover design course bundle. But enough of all the course talk, they will all be linked down below. Let's go ahead and jump into the video itself, showing you how I design a book cover from start to finish. All right, so before we jump into Photoshop, we need to do a few things first. And the first step is knowing our concept. So concept basically just means we need to know what our cover is going to look like. You can just imagine it in your head, or if it's more useful, you can sketch it out on a piece of paper as well. Once you know what your concept is, that's when we start looking for our stock photos, which is step two, finding our stock photos. I personally like to use deposit photos, but there's a bunch of different stock photo websites out there that you can use to find great stock photos. But basically, I choose my stock photos and I choose them based on what I know my ability is as a designer. So if I'm finding a person to go on my book cover, if I don't like their hair color, I have to ask myself, do I have the ability to change their hair color? Or do I have the ability to give them an entirely new hairstyle? Because depending on your skill set in Photoshop, you can or cannot do this. And maybe you also have the ability to add in different articles of clothing. You just have to be mindful of what you know how to do as a designer. And that brings us into step three, which is composition, which will bring us now over into Photoshop. So I go ahead and drag all my photos onto the canvas and I just start arranging them how I think they're gonna look. I also start applying masks or cropping them so I can get a rough idea of how things are gonna look. And once I have things arranged, that brings us on to step four, which is to blend. So obviously these are all different photos and they are taken in different lighting and we want them all to blend together. So this is when I start doing different things to blend things in and make it all look cohesive. We don't want to make it obvious that this was three, four, or however many different photos. And there's tons of different techniques you can do to blend the photos together. And once it's all blended together, I move on to step five, which is adding text. Now, uh, sometimes I add text earlier, sometimes I add it later. It really just depends on my mood. So the steps don't always have to be in this order. But if you haven't added in text at this point, this is the time to bring in text. So I add in the title, I try to find a font that's appropriate to the genre, and then I add in the author name. In this case, I'm just putting Stone Ridge Books because that's my company name, and this is just meant to be a fun cover that I'm designing for you guys. I start messing with the different effects to make it look cool and have a fantasy feel to it, 
And then from there, I move on to step six, which is adding final touches and other effects. Again, this is another one of those steps that you can kind of do at any point in the process, but if you haven't done it yet, do it now. And this is when I like to add in any magical things that make the fantasy cover look extra special, whether that's by using Photoshop brushes, or in this case, an overlay of just a sort of magical look, and really just play around with it until you feel like it looks really good. And at the end of it all, you should have a cover that looks a little something like this. So before we go, I wanna talk about one final step because this cover I think is great. But one thing I like to do whenever I design book covers is I need to walk away. So this brings us to the final step in our book cover design process, walk away. I want you to step away from your book cover for at least a day or two and then come back to it and see if you still like it. Odds are you're gonna find a couple things that you're gonna wanna tweak, and then you can go ahead and play around with it. And maybe even send it to other people, see what they think, see if they have any feedback, and just try to step away from your art and look at it from a kind of marketing point of view, because at the end of the day, the book cover is going to sell the book. It's not just something that's pretty. And that is just how to design the front cover. I also have another YouTube video on how to design the book cover wrap, which is the spine in the back of the book as well. So I will leave that video linked down below, but if you really want an in-depth tutorial, like a really step-by-step -step guide on designing book covers of any genre in Photoshop, make sure to check out all of my book cover design courses. Otherwise, that is it for today's video. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe. I'll see you all next week.